Okay, here's another book review for you. This book was given to me several years ago by a friend. I believe it is out of print, but you might be able to find copies on eBay. And for historical information, it's pretty inter interesting read. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is third edition that I have here, which was published... Original copyright was 1948, it looks like. And it was re-copyrighted in 1984. So I'm guessing this is from the 80s. Now what this little book is, is it's basically a small encyclopedia of the histories of Gamefile bloodlines from that time and prior to that time. Some of the information is pretty sparse. Others, it goes into great detail. Basically, whatever they could find on those bloodlines. And there's quite a few in here that are no longer around. But um, let me just find... And it's not, it's not just bloodlines, it also talks about feed, exercise, um, diseases, you know, what was known about the diseases at the time. But in regards to bloodlines, let's see here, so opening it up to random page here, we've got Thompson Whites, Stonewalls. Smoke balls, staying wizards, log cabin, Sid Taylors. But then, if you go into, say, here we go, Red Quills, it's got more information. Texas Rangers, Georgia Shawnecks. And there's actually more than one article in here on the Shawneck. So I think there's three on Shalmex, uh, Shenandoahs, uh, War Horses, Hammond Gordons. The interesting thing about these Hammond Gordons, I actually had a guy contact me looking for some here in the last couple of years to add to his bloodline. And as far as I knew, they died out a long time ago, but apparently he still has them. And uh, Wisconsin Web Red Shufflers. Now this book doesn't really have pictures to speak of. It's pretty much all text. But if you are someone who's interested in the histories and um, just the cultures surrounding Gamefowl, for example, here's a poem by Ed Bentley who wrote under the pen name of Straw Shaker in the old magazines. It is a uh, very, very interesting and useful read. So, W.T. Johnson's Breeders and Cockers Guide. Thanks for watching.